Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. We're going to give it a couple hours and come back and check on it. This has been soldered into the cap. That's what that gray line is. I'm not going to try and polish this up. The big thing I'm after is getting the junk out of the little check valve. The seat's the thing that I need to be really careful of. That was the whole purpose of cleaning the vet, the pump was to get that little seat cleaned up. Doesn't look like it's got any nicks. That's good news. Set this over out of the way so I don't knock it over. It's just lemon juice, but it makes a mess. This little fine stainless brush is not very aggressive, but. Then again, I don't want to be aggressive on these threads. All I want to do is clean off the gunk. Got a little dent there. Somebody's nicked it, but it's not a crack. It's just some rough handling. There. All clean and shiny. Well, that's good. Now that I got that gunk off there, it actually sits and seats right on there. That's a good sign. Now, to go pour out this lemon juice and get some plain water. Just 
just want to make sure and neutralize the lemon juice and salt water. It's a really mild acid, but still it's an acid and I don't want to have it corroding my pump up. One of the reasons for putting down a paper towel is given the opportunity everything will find the lowest spot to get to. In this case it was a hole in the bench for the dog. Fortunately it came back to life. Well, the check valve is sealing up. We'll have a better test of it once we get the cup oiled up and stuffed down in there so I can build some pressure inside the pump. <clears throat> nope, it's not sealing. Well, what do we do about that? I can't get this apart. That's tapered and driven on there. I think if I try and pull that, I'm going to warp it. And that will totally screw it up. since I can't disassemble the check valve. Let's go over to this one that I'm pretty sure I can do something with. And we'll reassemble the check valve on it. This is a little spring that closes the check valve. And this one was actually working. Snug that up. See if this forceps will do any better on cleaning out the inside of it. Oh yeah. Well, how do you like that? That was a good little feel. Worthwhile investment. I think I want to soak the leathers. I think I want to just soak them in oil. Not drizzle a little bit on there. I want to get them soaked right up. That's enough to cover them. Good old 30 weight non-detergent. Okay, now we leave things set for a little while again. Well, it's pumping oil. We'll see how well it seals up when it's pumping air into white gasoline. Slip that in there.
I think I need a new leather for this one. The piston seal is leaking. And that's supposed to let air through. So maybe we're working. Because if I close these two off, That's holding a lot of air. Okay, well that's good. With the Check valve plunger held down. It's still leaking air. That means it can draw gasoline back in to the pump. So I'm going to look at that check valve one more time. Springs trapped up inside there. I think it's just the oil holding it. Yeah, just the oil. Okay. Their seal is deteriorating. Spring down in there. Drop the plunger down in there. And tighten that up. Now it's holding air. It'll hold air. Back pressure on that piston might just make it hold gas. Okay, now we're worth the shot. Go out tomorrow, we'll get some daylight. I'll take these two pumps out, see if I can't get these, those two blow torches to fire off. <laughs> 